right, here she is, big time feel. No surprise there, the UFC Hall of Famer and former women's bantamweight champion, the great Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey is a box office hit. Every time her name sits the top of the marquee, the stars come out. Yes. From her UFC debut with the quick submissions to Jean LaBelle standing next to the octagon with the timer. Everything was always a spectacle, and Ronda had the skills to back it up. I remember being at weddings and bar mitzvahs back in 2011, getting texts from guys like Sean Shelby. Dude, you got to see what Ronda Rousey just did, and it didn't take her long to enter the mainstream, successfully defended the title several times. Ronda Rousey back and perhaps with a point to prove here tonight. Ronda Rousey steps into the octagon, and this time she wants to leave with the belt. So the top 10 in the UFC Women's Bantamweight division has never been deeper nor more talented than it is right now. And of course, they're all chasing the champion who gets back on the proven ground here in the big spot tonight. You know, and she knows that she holds the belt in the division that's been around the longest. She replaces champions like Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes, Holly Holm, and Misha Tate. All these great champions that came before her, she carries that as if as if it's a medal of honor to represent the history of this division in the best way. This woman is a savage, and she intends to keep that belt for a long time. And in terms of muscle mass, body fat, I'm just not sure that she has ever been in the type of physical shape she is in in advance of this title defense tonight. Our tale of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. If it is the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger. Rowdy. Ronda Rousey. And now, if it is the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning. Defending. UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Manon the Beast Beyond! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. A female fighting pioneer, and largely the reason why women were brought into the UFC, enter the former Bantamweight champion, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Nine career wins by armbar, three by knockout as well. Tonight, though, the grappling advantage is hers, and we'll see if she goes. She slips that left hand there. All right, so with immediacy, the jiu-jitsu fighter closes the distance and gets her to the clinch. This is exactly where the kickboxer did not want to be early in this fight. No, she wanted space, she wanted distance, she wanted, to, she wanted it to be clean. This clinch position is anything but clean. And right now, she is exactly where she needs to be. Oh, she got inside and right to the single collar top. So one minute in the fight, and look at these two warriors just going at it. She better be careful, though. You gotta think gas tank might become an issue at some point. The gas tank will become an issue if you fight so reckless. You cannot be this reckless in a fight inside the outfit. Oh, good vision defensively. Oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. 
All right, so an early takedown by the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. That's got to be a source of confidence. One attempt, one secure. One for one, always feel good on the stat line. You get a shot, you get the takedown. It doesn't work out much better often than it did for this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter right now. All right, she's got north-south position now, DC. We don't see a lot of north-south chokes in the UFC, but what is she trying to do here from what is a dominant position? Well, you know, it's the north-south choke is very difficult because everybody is so well-versed in submission defense now. Right. But if done the correct way, it can happen. But you hit that north-south choke, hope that your opponent turns to their knees so that you can run to the back, try to get your hooks in, or you can attack guillotine when they go to their knees. Under three minutes to go in round one. And now she's in mount. Get your hips back. Move your hips. She's setting up the arm bar. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, wow. Oh, she got out. How good is that? Trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom She got fighter. stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. Fjord's in half guard. Oh, in the ball. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, great reversal to top position by Rousey. And as she misses with the left punch there. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they shot. She snapped the head back there. This could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut that hurt her opponent very, very badly. Well, a pretty good recovery by her opponent after being stunned, but we see this all the time, right? If you don't close the deal when you have that opportunity, your opponent's back in the fight and can potentially run. Especially with this opponent. This opponent's so dangerous all the time. It does not matter that she hurt her before. She's going to have to close the door if she gets her hurt again. All right, so a storyline developing. Oh! She's hurt real bad. Oh! oh, big right hand. Rousey going for the body. Missed with that kick. Back and forth we go. Yours cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Side control now. All right, she's got her in the north-south. Oh, Kimura attack, yup. Oh, she's got the Kimura locked in. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes her tap. Oh, somehow so, she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Fjord gets back up again. Nicely done. All right, so her submission attempt is denied yet again. She's going to keep going for it, but the defense has held up every step of the way thus far. Well, she, she has to. She has to keep going for it. Because if she wants a chance, she's got to keep trying to throw up submissions. Unfortunately, she is trying to submit one of the best. Oh! All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there's the horn. The round is over, and we've got more fighting. It looked like maybe we'd get a finish there after she landed upstairs. Well, she was excited. She thought it was done. How does she reshift? How does she get herself back in the moment to try to repeat what she just did, but also top it and actually get the finish? You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Just a slip there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Pretty good jab there by Rousey.
liver kick. Well, she just ate another strike right on that eye. You don't want to take too many more of those. No, she's got to be more active with her head movement. Or this cut is... Well, Rousey's going for the sub here. Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have... Oh, she escapes! Pure's pass is denied. Oh, nice. Lands with the ground and pound here. Right, so just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike landing. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Rousey's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, right into Mount. So we hit the three minute mark here in the second round. Fjord getting touched here repeatedly with these attempting a choke now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, how about that? Position over submission. Probably a good decision there. Lands with the ground and pound. And there she goes again. Landed another strike on the ground. Yours got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You got to think that body investment is going to pay dividends later. Let's go. Got to be careful here. How good is her movement here on the ground? Right, shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautiful. Yeah, she's so good at transitions and movement. Her ability is unmatched. Working out of the half guard here. Great job making her opponent recognize she's not gonna just lay on her back. She's still being offensive. All right, north-south position now, Dees. Oh, in good position to rip off the Kimura here. Oh, she's got that Kimura locked in tight now. Oh, tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. that elbow blocked by Rousey. Oh, nice. Man, she just continues to eat shots right on that cut. I'm not sure they're going to let this thing go much longer. Well, she's got to get moving. Johnny, she's got to be more offensive because your offense can be your defense. Right now, she's waiting, and she is getting beat up, and the cut just keeps getting worse. Well, Rousey's in half court. Oh, and she's back up again. Nice job to post the hand and get back to her feet. Well, her reactions are really strong. Oh, she's, she's walking out. She's hurt very bad. She's an escape. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. She moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. Ten minutes in the books. So there's the horn signaling the end of the round. Some damage done there with the two knockdowns. Big, big round from Rousey.
Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. Well, new round, same result as she continues to attack the body. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, huge knee! Nice punch from the clinch by Pure. Got north south position now on top. Is it just more a dominant ground control type of situation, or are you trying to work for a submission? You can hit the north south choke, which is you start to sag your weight away, drop your shoulder into their throat, and just really cut off the oxygen with, with the choke. It's a very difficult thing to finish, but it will wear on your opponent and can weigh them down and wear them out. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. All right, so no surprise. Oh, good armbar attempt here. Oh, that's tight. Getting awfully close on the submission now. Oh, how about that? She gives up on the submission now. And now she has her back. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Beautiful transition. Nice positional control here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Fuel. Well, she'll ground you and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Hook onto an arm here. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh, come on, that has got to be it. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, what a display of submission defense by the show lady. Oh, the hard ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so, it appears. Submission attempt. Ninety seconds to go in the round. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Man, she has done her homework. Another ground strike gets through. Got through. I'm not sure how many more she can take. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. She's going for her arm here. She's got it very tight. Oh, looks tight to me. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Fjord's back to the side control now. Oh, good ground and pound here. This is another one of those ones where you might think about stopping it. Oh, yeah, we got blood all over the broadcast table. It's legit everywhere. It's all over it. Fjord's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Stepping over the mount here.
Pound, That's pound. three rounds. We're now headed stop, to the stop, championship stop. rounds. All right, so somehow, some way, we have made it to the end of the round. And for these two women, otherworldly toughness on both sides, but those are some damaging cuts. Yeah, they're both cut up. They're both battered. They're both bruised. They have done so much damage to each other. Both of these women laid it all on the line. We're going to show you some replays from that previous round and perhaps isolate the cut that the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, I mean, these two just were going back and forth. They are so evenly matched, and the intensity in which they threw their strikes was crazy. Both of these ladies were trying to knock their opponent's head off the let's entire time cut. in that round. All right, so let's see how soon into this next round those cuts are reopened. But both of these women have accomplished a lot here tonight offensively. We'll see who can shore things up defensively moving forward. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five fights. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down. Well, Rousey's cheek is just excellent on the feet. Back to the feet now. There it is again. Look at that. Oh, how good is that? The timing punch lands plus to the head. Oh, big, big shots landed by her now. Rousey's going for an arm here. Ooh, she's got it tight. She's a beast. She's targeting that cut, and she is seeing it pay dividends because the cut is getting worse. DC, I know you got my back. She's got her back, and she can do a lot of damage from here. I've got your back, as and I'm your boy, J.A. She's got her back as if she wants to end her night right now. She's got to be very careful. This is a terrible position. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Right, right. right to domination. Oh, she made that one count. Oh, and another punch on the ground gets through. May need some defense here. Big shot lands from the top. It looks like her opponent's reeling. Oh, there it is. That's that one, that right hand. Well, Rousey's an absolutely bloody mess right now. Cut man knows he's got his work cut out for him between rounds. Oh, what a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing her. Oh! She's getting up. Yep. Oh, that'll do it! Holy smokes! That is as clean a knockout as you will ever see, and certainly the signature win of her career today. You don't get many like this. She said that she was going to knock her opponent out, and that is exactly what she did. What a performance. Let's get to Bruce Buffer. He has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 54 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Manon the Beast Beyond. All right, so she will head home the way she arrived as the undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion as she gets it done by knockout here tonight. She was so dismissive of this challenger, and maybe with this result, you see as to why. I mean, when you start to put...